Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In this video, I am going to explain you about the concept of Kerberos in the subject of network security. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, uh, but Kerberos, whatever it is, okay, let us, um, you got the spelling right, that's enough. So now, uh, in this video, I'll explain about Kerberos as I already said. In the next coming video, I'll be explaining about the X509 authentication service. Got it? So let's get into the video now. Uh, first of all, what is Kerberos? It is a network authentication protocol. That is, if you want to authentic, if you want to use a network, if you want to use the services of any particular network, right? That network will provide you services only if you are an authenticated user. That is only if you are a real user, if you are a certified user, trusted user, right? In that case only, the network, ser the services will be provided by the network, right? So this Kerberos is a network authentication protocol. That is, uh, it will check whether the user is a authenticated user or not. If yes, then it will allow to the network. Got it? It, is, it follows the concept of client server architecture obviously because uh, I'm saying user network right how client server you will get that in the end of the video next it follows the symmetric key algorithm which means you will be using the same key for both encryption and decryption purpose got it next it requires a third party you know in order to provide the keys, it requires a third party, a trusted third party, TTP, we say, right, in key distribution, we have learned about this. So, what is that third, oh, sorry, trusted third party? It is KDC, which is nothing but the key distribution center, right? So, simply you can say it is a database, it is a database of all the secret keys, right? So, it is a database of all the secret keys, got it now? Uh, so, I'll tell you how this works with the help of a diagram and theory all you can write on your own is what I, I am expecting. So, in this diagram, yeah, so in this diagram, it is a key distribution center, okay? Basically, every key distribution center will have two things in it. One is the authentication server which is AS and the other one is the ticket granting service TGS. Got it? So every key distribution center will have two servers. One is authentication server and one is ticket granting server. So what is authentication server? It will check for the authenticity and ticket granting server will uh, grant a ticket. Okay, don't uh, think about that now. I'll tell you. So first of all, user wants to access. Here is the user, the client. This user wants to access the services of this network got it now in order to access the services of this network this user has to be a authorized person and who will check the author authorization of this user this Kerberos this in KDC what will happen is first user will send a message to KDC that I want to uh, you know access the keys that I want a key so that uh, I can prove my authenticity and I can use the services of the network. So he will send a message to KDC that I want keys. Now what KDC will do? KDC will give the information to the uh, the authentication server which is present in the KDC will respond now. What a, um, this authentication server will do? It will send a ticket to A. Again it will send a ticket back to A authentication server. Right. So this ticket will be in encrypted form okay not in normal form it will be in encrypted form that is the user has to perform some action on this ticket in order to understand what is present in that right so now what a user will do the user will decrypt the message whatever is present in this ticket the user will decrypt because he has to know right what is present in that again he will decrypt it and he will get the hash code so upon decrypting the user will get the hash code now what happens the hash code is again i mean the decrypted ticket which is nothing but the hash code is again sent back to the authentication server only authentication server got it it is again sent back to the authentication server why it will check for the uh, authenticity that is 
if the user is able to decrypt it correctly then it means that okay he is certified user if he is not able to decrypt it uh, correctly in that case he is not a authorized user the server will think so on decrypting whichever message is obtained that is again sent back to the authentication server authentication server will check if it is okay then what authentication server will do it will give the service ticket got it it will give the service ticket see service ticket is different and this ticket is different this ticket is for authentication purpose now which now ticket? which ticket you are giving it is service ticket service ticket is nothing but in order to access the services the service ticket which is uh, it it is not given to the user it is given to the ticket granting server right ticket granting server will give the service ticket to the user service ticket service ticket is nothing but secret key only okay right now ticket granting server will give the secret key by using this secret key the user can communicate with the network got it so here client server architecture client server got it simple right so kerberos is nothing but uh, kerberos or kerberos whatever it is there is nothing but it is a network authentication protocol that is when you want to access the services of a network of any network it will check whether you are a correct user or not whether you are a authorized user or not whether you are a attacker or you know if you are a third party person that will not allow you got it so this is about the kerberos and it is how it works it has two servers authentication server and ticket granting server authentication server is to check the authenticity of the user and ticket granting server is to give the session key session key is nothing but the secret key of the uh, you know network got it so that's all let's meet up soon the next coming video with another topic and if you're still having any doubts just let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure